shout out to QC Life's Jorge Andres. He is live at Victoria Yards. Jorge, we're going to work on our milkshake. Perfect. You guys work on those milkshakes, and I'll show you all the cool stuff here at Victoria Yard. Yes, I've made my way over from First Ward Park to Victoria Yard because we're here to see some of the installations, and that's why we're joined by Charlotte's very first Poet Laureate, uh, Junius Ward, and you collaborated with uh, um, Morag Myerskoff on this beautiful installation that we're seeing. Uh, Junius, first of all, tell me... Uh, Take me through the process of concept to reality of seeing what the public is going to see starting tomorrow. Absolutely. So uh, it was very important for Center City Partners and for Morag uh, to engage the community. So what we first did was talk about how we we're going to do that, how we we're going to engage various demographics of the community uh, to pitch in and figure out what the words and what the inspiration would be for the installation. So we put together a community workshop. Uh, we talked about music lyrics and slogans and we created words and language and we also wrote poems together. Uh, and from that came the inspiration for, for this very vivid installation that you'll see here. Now, we talked about it during the break. You know, words are so important. As a journalist myself, you know, words, they can make someone happy. They can make someone sad. They can be someone's cloak. It's something so important. So when you look over here, pan over here, Jordan, and show this. When you look at these words, both well-defined and unestablished, a mirror of your own journey. What does that mean to you to see it out there and have the community see it? Uh, first of all, I can remember who wrote it in the workshop. I can remember, you know, what it was about. So that is very uh, satisfying. But also, it's a mirror of the city, both well-defined and unestablished, right? It's a, it's a city that feels kind of established, but also feels young, feels like it's growing and becoming something else. So having that kind of journey and being able to, to see that with the community members who all were like deeply entrenched in the community, representing various demographics, but also very, very involved in wanting the community to be better uh, and wanting to be a part of that future. You're so passionate about your work. And then to see people come and enjoy Charlotte Shout, look at these words, look at these beautiful installations and have it resonate with them. What's that mean to you? You hit it right on the head, right? Because this installation is beautiful. It is vivid. It is bright. It's going to be a great addition to Charlotte Shout and to the city landscape. But what makes it work is the words from the community. What makes it work is the passion that went into it from people who really care about this city. Uh, we know that language uh, can define and redefine. It can transform. It can uplift. It can do all these things. That's the power of language. Uh, and being able to know that this installation is possible because community members here, some of whom are artists and poets, but many of whom were not. They're just interested citizens who want to see Charlotte thrive. Uh, that means the world. Why is it so important for anybody in our community, but especially youth, to be able to express themselves, whether it's through words or whether it's through art or creativity? Okay, so poetry, and we're just talking about the language of poetry. Poetry has always been on the leading edge of societal change and revolution. That starts with language. And if I'm going to quote Audre Lorde from a, a famous essay, Poetry is Not a Luxury, uh, she says that poetry uh, coins the language needed for change, right? Poetry is a vital necessity of our life because everything that we see that we want to change for a better future, it starts with language. Uh, and poetry provides that language. Lastly, and quickly here, I have about 30 seconds. We're talking about words. What does the word community mean to you? Wow. Uh, I think community means empowerment. I think community means togetherness. I think community means working together towards a common goal. And I also think community means redefining and defining. So I would urge everyone to come out to Charlotte Shout, come out to Victoria Yards and help define and redefine this great city. What an amazing event that we're going to have here through April 14th, Kristen. A Charlotte Shout. You're going to get to see so many installations in so many different locations. So cool, Jorge. I mean, I love it when our city just brightens up, looks so beautiful and gorgeous. We appreciate you being out there today uh, and seeing all the, the cool stuff that all of the people of the Queen City are going to be able to see coming up soon. Thanks, Jorge. We'll, we'll see you later.